Alright, so patch 1.5 just got released by CD Projekt Red for Cyberpunk 2077. And this patch was supposed to fix all the problems, or at least most of the problems, that have made the game almost unplayable for most of the systems. Hey guys, this is your boy Rusian, and in today's video we're gonna take a look in how good or bad patch 1.5 actually is. And I guess by the title of this video, you guys already have an idea. Alright, now I want you guys to remember that the first time I ran this game was in the launch day, and I was actually using an FX 4300 with, yes and don't laugh, 12 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX. 1650 Super. So now, as I'm running a 9th generation i5 9300H with a GTX 1660 Ti and 8 gigabytes of RAM, we should expect that I'm gonna have a much better gaming experience, right? Right? Well, not really. Alright, so first things first. The first time I installed the game over a year ago, the game only allowed me to install on my SSD drive. As of right now, it actually let me install in a different drive, but I feel it's great since my SSD only have over 500 gigabytes of memory, so that's a plus in my opinion. They have also included a benchmark option well, to be honest, it takes a little long to actually run. But as you guys know, benchmarks a lot of times do that, so not a big issue. The problem I had with the benchmark, and, and that's what started worrying me, is that as you guys look at the results, I had some major frame drops. Even to the point that the lowest was around 0.9 frames per second. What running in a much lower system, I did not have those issues, so... That's kind of uh, worrisome. And to be honest, during the gameplay, I could actually feel those frame drops. But if you guys remember on my first videos about this game over a year ago, while I was hitting a lot of times like 18, sometimes even 10 frames per second every now and then, it wasn't as noticeable. I mean, yes, it was noticeable, but not enough where it was break my gameplay. Something that right now with a better CPU and better graphics, I could feel the whole time. Now, and that's just my opinion on how they try to actually fix some of the issues. It seems that their plan was not load the whole information on the game as you're doing things like driving around or running around, but it causes to where when you get close to a character, to an NPC, and look at their faces, you realize they're not fully rendered unless you wait for a while in an area. So pretty much if you're just running around or driving and you stop and actually look at an NPC, they just look disgusting. It looks like a PS1 rendering. The other thing is, because the game's not loading the whole information, when you're driving, at times you're pretty much driving inside of the ground. To the point that after driving to one of my missions, I end up falling in the ground. And as you guys can notice, even the map, what should be something really simple for the game to digest, it, it doesn't show a lot of the times. You know, most if you're driving high speeds through the roads. So I'll be really honest with you guys, before that patch, the game was actually running a lot better. Yeah, sure, you would see characters in T-poses every now and then, but the game was still playable for the most part. So I really don't understand how we waited so long for that fix-it-all patch, and it seems that they just completely broke the game now. Now, just remember, I'm talking about a PC standpoint that is actually running the game way above the system requirements, minimum requirements, and it's running worse than my old PC that was way below the system requirements. I mean, don't take me wrong, there are some good things, like driving right now, it's a lot better. When you point a gun, the NPCs don't just cower in the ground, but still it's not that much better. The only thing they do is just run. Also, the whole thing they said about how the cops won't just spawn right behind you, they still seem to just respawn way too fast. What I guess not as bad as it could be, but 
it's still not a fix. They just altered a couple of things in the game, somehow broke most of the things that actually worked in the game, and honestly, right now for me, this is definitely an uninstall. I am not going to keep this game in my hard drive, taking space off a lot better games that I could install in there. And I'm sorry CD Projekt Red, I had so much hope that you guys would actually be fixing this game. I was looking forward, as soon as I saw that the patch was live, I really wanted to make a video that tells everybody how you guys really got stuff done, made things better, and that people should actually reinstall the game or buy the game, but I really can't do that. I mean, how dare you guys talk about all those fixes, have the longest patch list, and somehow put the game in a state that I can't even play. I was getting more frustrated with everything, like floating cars in some areas, than before. Yeah, I run into one case before that my car was inside of the ground, but it wasn't me falling into the ground the whole time. So, I'm sorry guys, um, I wish I had better news, but the truth is, you should not be playing this game right now. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, hit that notifications bell, and as always, I'll see you in the game, but definitely not on that game. Thank you very much for watching, and I see you later this week.